Good morning students today we are going to learn a new lesson of class 6 science that is chapter number 6 body movements Now the aims and objective of these lessons are to know about different types of joints in the body to identify the basic structures and functions of the human body to know about the types of body movements to know about human body and its movements Now the introduction so basically what do we understand by movement movement we can call as a act of moving moving is one of the characteristics of all living organism animals move either by changing their positions or postures or both movement causing a change of place of the entire organism that is known as locomotion plants do not show locomotion but have only growth related movements movement of body parts helps in locomotion All locomotions are called movements but all movements may not be called as locomotion. For locomotion of animals muscles bones and joints are necessary. Animal locomotion varies according to their body design. For example cows walk with legs, snakes slither with the whole body, birds fly with their wings etc. Human body and its movement. Human body parts like hands, legs, neck, head, elbow, shoulder moves differently during do, uh, during different activities like playing, doing exercise, etc. Different movements include complete rotation, partial rotation, bending, lifting, etc. For example, during bowling, our shoulder rotate com- completely, elbow bends in one direction and neck rotates partially. This bending or rotation of body part is possible due to joints. Now, what are joints? Joints when the two parts of our body seems to join together, that is called joints. There are th- three types of joints: fixed joint, that is also known as fibrous joint, cartilaginous joints, synovial joints. Fixed joint, as the name suggests, do not allow movement and found in cranium and upper jaw. cartilaginous joint limited movements are allowed bones are joined by cartilage found in vertebral column synovial joint considered movements are allowed fluid filled synovial cavity between two bones found in limbs like knee elbow shoulder etc the example of synovial joints are ball and socket joints pivotal joints and hinge joint now we will discuss ball and socket joint the rounded end of one bone fits into the cavity of another bone allow movement in all directions for example now where the ball and socket joints are present in our shoulder joint and hip joint pivotal joint in this joint cylindrical bones rotate in a ring one bone pivots within another bony structure that forms a ring you can see in the image when we turn our head side to side or forward and backward this joint in neck help its movement hinge joint it allows movement like the hinge of the door bones can move allow along one axis to bend it allows back and forth movement for example elbow knee and finger joints skeletal system now we'll dis- discuss the skeletal system you can see the image on your screen skeletal forms the framework of the body our skeletal our skeleton is inside the body that is known as endoskeleton bones cartilages and joints from the skeleton of human body it gives the frame support and shape to the body and helps in movement it also protects the inner organ x-ray image gives the detailed structure of bones and joints now bones hard part of our body are called bones as we know that these are strong and non flexible tissues made up of calcium bones form the very frame various framework of our body various bones in our body bones of upper limb bones of lower limb bones of skull bones of rib cage bones of backbone bones of shoulder bone and pelvic bone now we can see the image of our upper limb each upper limb is made of 30 bones arm forearm palm and fingers constitute the whole upper limb arms one long bone humerus with a rounded head forearm consists of two bones radius and ulna wrist eight short carpal bones palm 
फाइव लॉन्ग मेटाकार्पल बोन्स एंड फिंगर्स लॉन्ग बोन्स कॉल्ड फेलेंजेस थम टू ईच अदर फिंगर्स थ्री नाउ द लोअर लिम थाई फर्स्ट वन स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट एंड लॉन्गेस्ट बोन ऑफ थाई बोन इज नोन एज फीमर इन नी पटेला अ कप शेप बोन विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नी कैप लेग्स टीबिया एंड फिब्यूला टू बोन्स फुट सेवन टार्सस फाइव मेटाटार्स एंड फोर्टीन फेलेंजेस नाउ रिप केज बॉक्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट कनेक्ट चेस्ट बोन एंड बैक बोन रिब्स देर आर ट्वेल्व पेयर्स इन रिप केज स्टर्नम एंड थॉरिस वर्टेब्रे फॉर्म्स द रिप केज सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरनल पार्ट्स लाइक हार्ट लिवर लंग्स आर प्रोटेक्टेड इन साइड दिस केज बैक बोन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आर बॉडी लोकेटेड ऑन द बैक साइड ऑफ द बॉडी कंपोज ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स सीरियली अरेंज स्मॉल बोन्स कॉल्ड वर्टेब्रे इट इज अ पॉइंट ऑफ अटैचमेंट फॉर रिब्स इट प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट टू द हेड इट प्रोटेक्ट द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड शोल्डर बोन इट इज मेड अप ऑफ थ्री बोन्स कॉलर बोन शोल्डर ब्लेड अपर आर्म बोन पैल्विक बोन इट एनक्लोज द पोर्शन ऑफ द बॉडी बिलो द स्टमक इट इज अ पार्ट वी सिट ऑन हिप्स एरिया बेसिकली स्कल बोन्स स्कल इज मेड अप ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू फिक्स ज्वाइंट बोन्स इट एनक्लोज एंड प्रोटेक्ट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी दैट इज ब्रेन इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू टाइप्स ऑफ बोन्स क्रेनियल बोन्स it the, that is 8 and facial bones that is 14 cartilage some additional part of the skeleton that are not as hard as bones and can be bent basically they are flexible in nature these are semi transparent elastic and flexible connective tissue that is found in nose ear trachea covering of bones and in movable joints muscles bundle of tissues with the ability to contract responsible for the movement in the body muscular movement movement by the contraction of muscles region in human body which exhibit muscular movements are movement in limbs jaw tongue eyelids rib cage etc how do muscular tissue cause movement muscular tissue contains muscle fibers muscle fibers contain contain contractile protein which enables contraction and relaxation that causes movement contraction of muscle pulls the bone muscle becomes shorter stiffer and thicker when contracted muscle works in pair when one contracts the other relaxes a muscle can only pull it cannot push thus two muscle bone have to work together to move a bone how do other organism move so we'll first discuss about earthworm they do not have bones we know that and their body is segmented in segments each segment had muscles and bristles called setae they have two types of muscle circular and longitudinal muscles contraction of circular muscle and relaxation of longitudinal muscle leads to extension of the body and it reverse shorten the body so earthworm moves by alternate extension and contraction of the body using muscles tiny bristles on the underside of the body helps in gripping the ground and its body secretes a slim slimy substances to help the movement through soil snail snail soft unsegmented body covers with a shell made up of calcium carbonate moves at very slow speed even slower than earthworm wavy motion of the muscular foot helps in drag along its body cockroach cockroaches are brown colored insects body is segmented and it is divided into head thorax and abdomen body is covered with exoskeleton they have three pair of legs attached with muscles help to walk and climb two pairs of wings attached with the breast muscle moving the wings to fly birds birds can fly in the air and walk on the ground hollow and lightweight bones strong and powerful flight muscles help them fly fore limbs are modified as wings hind limbs bones are typical for walking and uh, perching some birds like duck and swan also swim in the water fishes body is streamlined as we know that offers least possible resistance to the moving water as paper boat move in water through its pointed end strong muscles on the skeleton helps in swimming fins and tails control the balance and direction during swimming during swimming muscles make the front part of the body curve to one side and the tail part swings towards the opposite side quickly snakes 
have elongated body and have no legs they have many thin muscles connected to each other to the backbone ribs and skin its body curved into many loops each loop of the snake gives it a forward push by pressing against the ground and moves forward very fast but not in a straight line now we'll discuss some assignment questions what type of joint is found in your wrist and backbone what do you understand by streamline body how do snakes moves without legs why do we need a skeletal system describe its function what is ball and socket joint thank you